school. And these women came in there with their uniforms on and talked about the military. My best friend and I went crazy. We went straight downtown and signed up for it. So we both were going to the military together. So we took the test together. I passed the test and she did not pass it. So that meant I had to go by myself. Not really by myself, you know. I had to go without my girl, my best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I passed the test. I, um, I had told my parents about it. And the way they learned about it, even after I passed the test, took the physical, I still didn't tell them about it. But when I it took blood from me, I'm a bleeder sometimes. I bled. They got on my shirt sleeve. And there was no way for me to deny this. When I came home with it, they pressed their mouths over that blood. And she don't know what, it, what, what that blood was doing on me. Then I had explained to them what was going on. But I was old enough to make my decision. They didn't want me to go, but they didn't try to stop me either. And I was so proud that I, there was about four to five people in that room that took the test. Four to five women who took the test to go into the survey. And there were only six of us passed everything and were sworn in that first go round. And I have to be one of the six.